Okay, this is the next game in the If I Knew Then mini series. Three minute zero increment game. Playing as black. And we blocked the pawn as we do. We like doing it because it helps us to feel like we're managing the center a little bit. We're not we're not shying away, we're not wanting the opponent to, waiting for the opponent to extend or anything like that being proactive and developing the knight it's uh, supporting the pawn as you know it's pretty simple straightforward stuff bishop comes out to attack now there's potential for this um, fried liver stuff so we like to bring the bishop here now to kind of stop that but it also develops the bishop as well so we bring the knight out now making space for castling so everything's active at this moment in time, so pretty straightforward. They move their bishop again, so they've moved it twice. No big biff if it's not going to cause any disruption to their development, but in terms of our sort of psychology, we're thinking, well, they could have moved moved another piece. But hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened in openings where people move one piece about 50 million times and they still win the games. So we push the pawn up. And just make space for our white square bishop. And then we attack the bishop, see what it wants to do. It's not interested. So we move the pawn up now, giving space for the rook, but also preventing any of this diagonal business in the future coming from the queen or maybe even from the bishop. But at the same time, it's also a good point to start inching these pawns up, supporting each other, if the opponent's going to do nothing. So a bit of lazy man's thinking there. So they bring the rook across and we bring our rook across, making space for the dark square bishop. And this looks like it's going to be one of those um, playing football in your own half type games. So when that occurs, we'll do our fianchetto stuff. We don't like doing any of that, but we understand the um, concepts behind it. And we'll just sit here and just play football in our own half of the board. So we bring the bishop through, they develop their knight back. So we were correct in the thinking that it's going to be um, a little bit of a no scoring game, unless, of course, the opponent makes an egregious error. So we bring the bishop through, doing the fianchetto, just waiting for the opponent to overextend. Slight overextension there, allowing the bishop to come through an x-ray through to the queen. And then the knight comes and attacks the bishop, but obviously that is kind of like a strange move because... The queen is not protected, and at that point, the opponent resigned. So if I knew then what I know now, I would do the same stuff that I just did in this game. It's about, re for me, reading the game and um, looking at the sort of psychologies that you're used to. Uh, you don't have to. It's up to you. I mean, this is the type of thing I like to do to try and improve and enjoy playing the game a little bit more, looking at the psychology of things, you know, things like, well, are they going to be aggressive? Are they just going to be slow? Are they going to be um, clever? Do they, do they think they're too smart or looking like they don't know how to play the game, but then suddenly they'll come out with grandmaster moves? So there's all sorts of psychologies and different ways that people play. And it's them really trying to get an understanding as to how am I going to react to that player on each of those games. And this game here, we blended with what we saw on the board playing football in our whole own half of the board and then basically from there the opponent overextended slightly and lost their queen 